fish head soup. Oh my goodness, delicious. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Cooks here. Today on the menu, we're going to be having fish head soup. I am so excited about this fish head soup recipe because I love it so much. The flavor is so delicious, it's so healthy. I don't know where you are, but where I am, it is cold, cold, cold. And this fish is going to warm your soul. It's very easy to make and it's very economical. This soup is phenomenal, incredible, and fabulous. I want you to taste this. Okay, y'all ready? Let's go in the kitchen and get started. I'm so happy you're here. I finally get to make this soup for you and you are going to love it, I promise you. Your family is going to love it and it's gonna make you feel so good inside, so warm. Without further ado, let's begin. We're gonna start off by preparing our vegetables and let's start off with the celery. Celery is so perfect for soup because it has texture that's crisp, crunchy, and succulent. Celery is so good. We're gonna be adding some leeks to our fish soup. It has a sweet oniony flavor, and I love leeks in soup. Leeks are incredibly versatile. I use them a lot in soups, stews, all kinds of recipes. Leeks are one of the more expensive onion varieties. Whenever a recipe calls for onions, you can use leeks. However, you cannot eat raw leeks because of the texture. If you like carrots, you are going to love this soup. Carrots add a hint of sweetness to the soup. As long as you don't overcook the carrots, they add crunch to the soup as well. The carrots also contribute to the beautiful color of the soup. If I had to choose only one vegetable to put in the soup, I would choose carrots. Carrots are the most beneficial than all the other vegetables. I love carrots. I just got off work. I've had such a long day. I shouldn't even be cooking right now, but I want to get this video out for you guys. I'm gonna be using the red potatoes because they are considered a waxy potato and they stay firm and hold their shape. We do not like mushy potatoes. And the starch in the potatoes is gonna help thicken the oh, soup. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna love this. It's so good. These peas also add a pop of color to the soup and they're so delicious, sweet, and taste so good. I love peas. They are so healthy. This is one of the most healthy, colorful soups. And it's so perfect because it's cold right now. And you want something that's going to warm you up. Keep you warm and stay warm. Take good care of your body. At this time, we're gonna put our seasonings in and approximately six bay leaves. Looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, always make sure that you remove the gills. It's very, very important because your fish will be so bitter. So, oh, you don't wanna eat that. You don't even wanna try to eat that. I cover the fish head with water and simmer it for approximately 20 minutes and I drain the fish. We're going to move any skin, cartilage, the eyes, any bones, all the bay leaves, anything that we're not going to eat, we're going to remove it. Whenever you have fish, grilled fish, fried fish, you wanna always save the head and save the tail so you can have some soup. Look at that delicious fish flavored stock. We're going to put the potatoes in first because they take the longest to cook. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's add the potatoes 20 minutes before 
the soup is to be ready. This stock came out wonderful. I mean, the smell, the appearance, the texture is perfect. Now it's time to put this baby together. We have added our carrots and our celery. Also added some white pepper. You're gonna love this soup. You're gonna make it one time, and then after that, you're gonna keep making it and keep baking it because you are going to love this soup. We're just gonna let that simmer for about five minutes. We're adding our corn and peas, and we're just gonna give it a quick stir. And let's add in our spices. Our fish head soup is coming together and looking beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to add our leeks and give it a quick stir. Let's add in all the meat that we collected from our fish head. Look at all that delicious fish head meat. We're just gonna give that a stir. All our vegetables are done and the smell, I cannot stand it. It is so incredible, guys. I wish you could smell it and I wish you can taste it. This soup turned out excellent. I'm going to be adding a small amount of heavy cream. When you add heavy cream to your fish head soup, it makes it thick and takes it to the next level of rich, silky creaminess. Can you see how silky, smooth that heavy cream made the soup? Looks delicious, doesn't it, guys? It's time for the most important Heart. I want you ladies and gentlemen to do the taste test with me. Y'all ready? Here we go. Oh, this is good. There is an explosion and excitement in my mouth right now. It tastes just like a little piece of heaven wrapped up in oh my God. It is good. This is delicious. This soup is phenomenal. This soup is incredible. I did squeeze some fresh lemon on my soup. This is a quick reminder. Drink your water. Please stay hydrated. I feel like I'm at a fancy restaurant. I am at a fancy restaurant. It's called home. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in my next video.